Driving Miss Margaret. That's right. Crazy. <laughs> Driving me crazy. That's right. Good morning, everybody. Um, today is Wednesday, October okay. something or other, and I'm gonna. I'm doing a day in the life video today. I got a lot going on this this day in the day of the life. Um, but this morning, it's about ten, about eight twenty or so. We have a conference up at the school, don't we? Yep. We are meeting with the teachers and possibly an assistant principal because we've been dealing with some bullying issues, and we got to nip that in the bud. So that's the first thing. First off, the kids are already at school, but we had to run home because I had to make lunches and whatnot. And now we're heading back. You okay, Rand? Oh yeah, because we're waving at our neighbor. Oh, was that our neighbor? Yeah. Oh, who's it? Okay, let's turn around and see. Is it Eve? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, she's probably like, what are you doing? Well, she knows me. She probably knows what I'm doing. Stacy's catching her. Oh, let's see if we see her. I'll, I'll pull it around. There she goes. Hey! No, yeah, she's gone. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off. We're gonna take care of business. And then I've gotta run. I, I haven't been thrifting in forever, hun, because I've been cleaning out. But, <clears throat> well, and then also garage selling has been really not because of all the flooding and stuff that we've had. <clears throat> About a third of our town was flooded, and then, you know, the surrounding areas as well. So, <laughs> garage sales have been kind of hit or miss. So, I've been taking this opportunity to do merch and to clear out some of the older stock and things like that that I've got. But today I'm going thrifting. I need some stuff, some jewelry and things like that. And then I'm gonna be on Jason's channel tomorrow evening, so I don't have any thrifty encounters, so I told him I'd have to go like frisk some Goodwill employees or something. I don't know. I will be my own thrifty encounter. Anyway, Is okay. It frisk or thrift? Frisk. Frisk, okay. Yeah, I gotta do something yeah, to get a thrifty encounter. I, I gotta I gotta have a story to tell, even if the story what, is. What's that they say? What happens in thrifting stays in thrifting. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna hang up because we're gonna hit the school here, and then we will talk to you guys later. Alrighty, let's do this thing. It is past nine o'clock, so that means the Goodwill is open. So. <laughs> What that also means is usually the people that go to buy the jewelry jars are their first thing. I've noticed a, a few different people at this Goodwill that come just for the jewelry, um, which is okay. But I haven't been in a while. What is today? Wednesday. Okay. So I'm going to hit the Goodwill that's over there. I'm going to hit the, the Salvation Army, which may not even be open yet because they got flooded. And then there's this other... I think it's called Forgotten Angels. So I'm going to hit those. And I'm trying to stay within the parameters of what I am trying to stay within. Which is jewelry, embroidery kits, uh, wrapping paper. And then if I find something amazing, like some amazing antique or something like that that's that's going to be where I'm trying to stay with him because it's gotten really out of hand with me buying other things and I, I'm not listing like I was so I need to try to keep it real <laughs> try to keep it real and not bring home it, it's a hard habit to break it, I think if you've been reselling for any length of time you get that you see something that you know brings in money it's a dollar sign and I'm picking it up for a buck and can flip it for 20 bucks and that's really hard to pass by but when you're picking it up for a buck and then letting it sit in your workroom and pile up with all these other things that you're picking up and letting pile up it just yeah I have to have a sit down with myself I had to sit myself down and say we can't keep this up how many times have we had to clean this workroom out because we can't keep up with all of it a many times so that's what's happening that's what's happening um, I am gonna try to go out garage selling this weekend it has been a number of weeks since I have gone out garage selling um, one maybe months 
<laughs> maybe months because of all the flooding from Hurricane Harvey it just has it been you know nobody has nobody's been having garage sales because they've been dealing with other things but now I saw last weekend I saw there was a community sale I couldn't go we were we went to the air show that's what we did we took Mikey to the air show James had gone fishing with my dad so that was good but this weekend there's another community garage sale not too far from where I am and, and again those are not necessarily my favorites because I don't I don't like the crowds and the cars and people getting like really aggressive it's just not worth it to me but I have found some good stuff at community garage sales will so I'm gonna have to dig in and do it but we're off we'll see what we can find some of the um, the last time I picked up at some embroidery kits from Goodwill some of those have been selling the Christmas ones especially it's getting kind of close on the Christmas ones because people need the time to, to make them if they're gonna make you know Christmas stocking or a wreath or a tree skirt but they're always really good sellers so and I think they're they fl kind of fly under the radar here we go here we go okay so yeah, I'm going to be on Jason's channel tomorrow night, I'm hosting with him, and I forget who he said the guest was. I know he just posted it too, and I can't remember. So I'll be hanging out with Jason, which is always fun, and then today I have to be back home in like an hour. Oh, I really got to make this happen, and because I'm going to be on Steve's new show, The Rake and Profit Show, so that's cool. Um, I don't even know what we're talking about. I guess I'll either talk about it or I won't. And that's just the way it's going to be. That's just it. So, okay. So there's that. And then I, we went to the meeting this morning with the, the teachers, the assistant principal popped in and then his, um, dyslexia teacher <clears throat> pardon me also uh, came in I think it went really well I mean and for me to say that this is coming from having multiple years experience of dealing with bullying with him <clears throat> and not feeling really confident about how the school was handling it I know it's tricky I, I taught I know it's tricky on the school's end but what I was worried about, like my biggest fear, is that they try to point it back at James, or they try to point it away, from, you know, or make it like it was not as big of a deal as, as it is, you know, that kind of thing. So I was wanting to hear, basically what I heard was responsibility was taken in the appropriate way, consequences were given, um, plans of action are put into place, um, moving forward, so now it's just a matter of waiting to see because that's I mean and I get that I mean it coming from an education coming from an education background <clears throat> it's hard it's hard you know because it's unfortunately a lot of it stems from home so there's only so much you can do as a teacher other than consequences and then nobody wants to think that their child is capable of doing some of the things that are well we really got serious didn't we um, yeah, I mean, a lot of parents don't want to take responsibility or don't want to think that their child is capable of some of the things that they do, or they're proud of it. I, I mean, unfortunately, I've seen that too, where they want their children to be aggressive and they think that's the way to be successful in life. So, I, you know, and, and that, that's what I tell James, that we've got to learn coping mechanisms, we've got to learn how to deal with these type of people because even as an adult you're gonna deal with these same situations I hate to say it I hate to I hate that that's the world that we live in but I mean he's heard enough stories of of me having issues with adults and I said see I I'm having this issue with a mom I'm having this person talk bad about me you see you know so it's it's learning how to manage that and knowing to trust your gut and knowing that you've got to pay attention to people's actions and not their words 
Um, and sure, forgive people and try to give them a second chance, but there's only so many second chances you get before you've got to protect yourself and your own mental state and your own everything. And you just say, that's, no, no more. Um, so, it, it, but it is hard in a school situation because you are forced to be in that environment with that person for years. So it's, it's kind of different, you know. Wow, we really got serious, didn't we? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that's what's been going on. I know uh, if you have been watching me for a while, my channel over the last couple weeks, month or so, it's just been weird. I'm not weird, bad, but just different. And I'm trying to find that balance again. I think it, I think the myth is that once you find balance, you're done. But I think that there's a constant tweaking, not twerking, <laughs> of balance that has to be done constantly. And I think that, you know, I'll find my balance and then things start getting kind of cattywampus again. And then I've got to regroup and find my balance again. And things go well for a while and then things get all wonky again. And, but I, and I know sometimes it gets me down where I'm like, man, I just, I feel out of whack. I feel, out, you know, my life is not in balance. Um, but I think the realization is finally sinking in that that's just life. You know, you're constantly going to have to re rework things and things, because that's, life has changed. You know, you're chugging along and then a hurricane comes along or you're chugging along and mom gets sick or you're chugging along and you get sick you know or have some medical issues come up <clears throat> and then you've just got to rework things and that's life all the time so yep oh darn it red light man so yeah I think it's easy for me to say now because I'm kind of pulling through the darker part because I, I was you know I didn't make any videos really talking about what you know the stress I've been going through over the last month or so you know because it's just been like bombarding from every part of my life um, with stress and so it's been pretty bad <laughs> maybe I'll talk about it some more in a minute but I'm about to go into Goodwill and see if we can't find some stiff some goodies and I don't have any thrifty encounters either so I, I told Jason I would like frisk a a goodwill employee if I had to we're gonna have us a thrifty encounter we're gonna do it we're gonna have us this thrifty encounter right now right now okay here we go turning turning parking parking now we're gonna do it and when I say it I mean thrifting not it it Ooh, I was so good. Okay, I was good. <laughs> I did not buy other things than my, <coughs> pardon me. I stayed within my boundaries. I stayed in my lane, so that's good. No jewelry, so no jars, nothing really to pick up. So now I'm heading over to see if the Salvation Army is open. Sometimes they get, I've gotten a number of jewelry jars there but I know one of the ladies there likes to pick over everything, so it's kind of hmm, hit or miss over there. If she's if she's picked through it, then and it's probably either overpriced or not there at all. Well, I don't know if it's open. It doesn't look very open. I'm gonna drive past and see. It's kind of warm. They may still be cleaning up from the hurricane stuff. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look, see if they're open, and then, I bet they're not, because they don't even, usually they have a big trailer out there where they take all their donations and stuff, and the trailer's not even there. Yeah, I, I kind of doubt it. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to go out again tomorrow, because I don't have time to go other places. So I'm going to pull in, see, there's lights on in there, but maybe they're just, hmm. Open signs not on. I don't think they're open. I'm gonna drive. Let's see. What does it say? Not accepting donations. Well, it doesn't say they're uh, not open. Not accepting donations. I'm gonna go in. Let me go see if the door is open. It just says not accepting donations. I wonder if they don't open till 10. Everybody's sitting in their cars out here. Let me go drive and see what time they open. Because I don't really want to wait for 15 minutes if they don't open till 10. Um, buh, 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 buh. It says they open at 9. Unless they've got different hours now. Now it's 10. It's 10. Okay. I'm going to go over to this other thrift store. This is the weird thrift store. It's weird and I don't even know how to describe it. Um, basically, like one time there was a necklace I wanted to buy. They'll do displays in there, right? And there was a necklace I wanted to buy, but it had just been put out on display. And they wouldn't sell it to me until they were ready to switch out their display. And so they were like, well, we can put your name and number down and call you. And I'm like, what? What are you here to do business or what? You know, you're a nonprofit trying to raise money, blah blah blah. I don't think I can park there. Ooh, somebody's donating a lot of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Man, there are people double parking. And that is just really annoying. Cause then I can't park. Thanks a lot, truck. I can't park there now. And this other truck. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. So yeah, by the time I get done looking through here, then the Salvation Army ought to be open. See, there's like three thrift stores all in this on this corner, so it's real close. All right, let me go in. I'll be back. Alrighty, I got some stuff. So I hit the Goodwill. I went to Forgotten Angels, and I went to Salvation Army. Salvation Army was really, I didn't get, end up getting anything that, they're not accepting donations right now, so everything was really picked over, but it was really crowded, so, I don't know, make, make of that what you will. The, I'm guessing because, you know, probably they're waiting for people to get rid of, because, do you think people would, like, donate flooded items, you know, who knows, right? So, I don't know if that's why they didn't do donations, or if they got flooded and they just couldn't have the capacity yet, or... Anyway, I know a few different thrift stores around were not accepting donations. Some of the charity shops and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I got... I did pretty well staying within my boundaries. I picked up a bunch of embroidery kits. And I picked up, like, this sewing... Uh, like, a thread display for my mom. It's a display for spools of thread that you would have found, like, in a quilting store, sewing store... But since she's a quilter, she has got thread out the wazoo. So I called her up, Jetson style, and asked her if she was interested in it. And she said, yeah, yeah, I could use that. I called her earlier because I found like a, if you know what a quilt hanger is, not, not a wall one, but like a stand that would hold like a few quilts on it. Um, so there was one of those at Goodwill for 10 bucks, but she said she already had a few, so she didn't really need another one. I was like, okay. But I think, you know, call, that voice, FaceTime is so cool. It's like living in the Jetsons time, right? You can just call them up with voice time or, or FaceTime and and just show her. So I showed her that. And then I picked up like a silk screening kit for my boys. It's, it's a girly one, but it has all the components for them to do silk screening. So we can make our own stencils or get different color paints at the art supply store. No big deal. 
So that'll be cool. Something I thought maybe Randy could do with them. Because he's really... He used to do his own silk screening where he would burn his... I don't even know what you call it. He would like burn the transparencies or... He had to have a dark room. That's all I know. So in our old house, the, one of our bathrooms was his... He would make it up like a dark room to do this. Something on a transparency that he would then silk screen. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Emulsion? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So that's cool that's cool um yeah so i'll have to do a whole video i'll probably i don't know maybe i'll do a, uh, maybe tomorrow i need to do this jewelry video i've been putting it off not putting it off but i've just been so busy um so maybe i'll do that maybe i'll do the haul on friday because i'm going to show some of it on jason's show so i've got to have i don't know I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yep. So now I'm heading home because I have a chat with Steve in about half an hour. I hope he's not waiting for me. I think he said he was going to send the link a little bit early, but I'm going to go chat with Steve and then with the boys of Merch Talk. And I, yeah, I, I need to check in on my merch account because I had a bunch of shirts in processing, which is really weird because I usually, I'll put one shirt through. If you were a merch person, you know what I mean. Like, you have to, a shirt goes through the review process before it, it goes live. Well, when I have multiples of one, I'll put one through, and when it gets approved, and I have similars with all same keywords and stuff, maybe just another color, or a different colored shirt or whatever, um, I'll wait. And then when that first one goes through and is approved, then I put the others through because I know it's safe. Well, I did that for about six shirts. So I had some in reserve. Once the first round went through and went live, I put the other ones. I was like, okay, it's clear. I'll put them through. Well, they've been sitting in review for like 24 hours, which is a long time for, for the shirts that I've been putting up, especially since one has already gone through. So I don't know what the deal is. I really don't. I don't know if they're like, okay, we're mad at you, Margaret. <laughs> Cause the other day there was a glitch in the system and they weren't, it, it wasn't for everybody. I don't know, I, I talked to Michael Taylor about it and he it didn't happen for him. But basically I was uploading um, shirts that had been pulled down and re-uploading them. And there wasn't a limit, like it wasn't ticking down on my, you know, it got to like 41, because like, I can upload 80. So it said, you have 41 more to go. And so I was uploading it every time. It just kept saying, you have 41 more to go. You have 41 more to go. So I just like, went hog wild with it and just all of the ones that I needed to re-upload I just knocked them all out so I probably up, re-uploaded a, a ton of shirts some of them were anyway long story short I uploaded a bunch that day um, because it was mostly just filling in the blanks I already had every all the work done um, yeah so I don't know if they'd put me in a timeout <laughs> who knows because they don't communicate with you very much so but anyway I've got some things I have to box up today too so that's good I haven't I haven't been <laughs> listing uh, that's that whole balance thing right I've got to find that balance um, but I've definitely had some sales that I need to, to box up maybe next week I'll do a sales update it won't have a lot in it that's okay but it's hey every every sales a sale right and I think I've got two of the boxes the boxes that I thought weren't gonna sell when I did my reseller D stash this last one I had like 12 boxes or something there were a couple that I was like oh these are too expensive they're not gonna sell uh, but they sold so in a couple of them that I thought would sell didn't so I think I just need to clarify which ones I have left I didn't put any kind of notification there or anything so we'll see we will see yeah, so this is this is fun. Okay, so it's a day in the life. I'll, I'll fill you in as we go. I called Randy and said, "Hey, start the oven. I need to start. I need to make some lunch." That's a whole other thing. We didn't talk about that about my stresses that have been going on for the last month or so. Just every my whole world was just like all lopsided for a while, and I finally feel like I'm getting my feet under me. <clears throat> so I don't know. I just didn't. Maybe I should have shared because I think some people felt a disconnect from me and it's funny because sometimes when, when I share 
personal stuff, I get really negative comments. So I just didn't this time share some of the negative things that were going on. Um, but then I was feeling, you know, people were feeling a disconnect from, from me and feeling things had gotten really impersonal. So I don't know. You just can't please everybody and you got to figure it out. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'll fill you in. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I wasn't going to have time to, to make lunch. I bought some salmon. These, this store near me does these like pre-made, it's like salmon and it's got this like crab stuffing in it. So I just told Randy, start the oven because I won't have time to make it later. Yep. All right. So I am coming home. I'm going to get things out and then I'll get back with you. What time is it? Yeah, I better check in with Steve. <laughs> like, uh, I was, I was going to talk to you some more, but I better just check in. Make sure he's not waiting for me. All right. Home and safe. Hey guys, it's Margaret. I did not finish my day in the life yesterday because it came to be a day in the life. Um, when, when did I stop talking? I got home after thrifting and then, um, what did I do? Oh, I made lunch. It was real early, but I knew I was going to be talking to Steve Rakin, so I wasn't going to have time to make lunch because I was going to talk to Steve and then turn right around and do merch talk with the guys and Yvonne was coming on, so... I wasn't going to be able to have any time to make lunch until like, I don't know, after one o'clock or something. So I went ahead and got lunch started so I could eat and talk to Steve for a bit and then did the show with the guys and Joe was able to make it this, this week and Yvonne came over and asked a bunch of questions about merch. So that was really good. Then what did I do? Um, gosh, by then, by the time we got done talking. It was like 1.45 or 2. So then I had like an hour basically before I had to get the kids. So I think I worked on some shirt designs. And then when I got the kids home, we got all, you know, homework stuff happens first. And then boxed up sales to take to the post office. It's just like that. And then the day is like boom, 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 boom. Dinner and bedtime and all of that good stuff. It's like once the kids come home, it's it's game over most of the time. Not game over, but you know, the, my focus is totally on them and and the, everything. So we did like easy supper though. It was I got like my guys like boiled shrimp, so they have these like boiled shrimp things at our local store. So we just like boiled shrimp and stuff, dumplings, leftovers. It was sort of like smorgasbord. But the weather was really pretty yesterday, so we ate outside. Uh, and uh, when the weather is nice, we try to get that in as often as possible. Also, <clears throat> not yesterday, but the day before we got our uh, fall garden, most of it in the ground. I'd like to get a little more out, but again, it's just time, you know. And I want the kids to be involved, so it's having to wait, you know, wait for them to get home to help me with that but we got some lettuce and some seeds for uh, sugar snap peas and carrots broccoli cauliflower cabbage you know I've never grown Brussels sprouts so I'm trying that this year trying some Brussels sprouts and and then the boys picked out some some flowers that they wanted in the garden too so they got some snapdragons and pansies and something else I can't remember so we were putting all that stuff out the other day was good. I want to get some winter squash, like, you know, butternut squash and things like that, but we'll see if that ends up happening. <gasps> um, and also some kale, like kale and Swiss chard. I'll put those in the planters, like, next to the house. So, we shall see about that, because those I can grow from seed. They'll grow pretty quickly. Anyway, this morning, I am heading... I, my eyelashes keep sticking together. It's driving me nuts. Um, this morning, we... We... E... Me... I'm going to... I don't know what those girls are doing over there. Um, Target. Because the room mom for Mikey's class messaged me and asked... <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, I guess I need some decorations, Halloween decorations for the party tomorrow the, the Halloween party at school is tomorrow 
So, I'm going to run the Dollar Tree. I went in there the other day and it was pretty much wiped out. Um, so, I'm going to go to Target. Like, twist my arm, make me go to Target. And pick up some, some stuff for the classroom. They have a fund, so I'll be reimbursed. So, that's cool. That's the QL. So I'm going to Target and I'm going to check the dollar spot while I'm there because that's always fun. Dollar spot fun. And then probably, because probably by the time I get done, the Goodwills over here on this side that, I, that are not as close to me will be open so I can zip through there. I have a feeling I'm not going to be home for a while. Well, okay making sure because sometimes I just throw things on before I go drop the kids off and don't really pay attention to what I'm wearing because I'm like I'm just gonna go straight back home but eh <laughs> it'll have to do it'll have to do the top part looks good right just a nice shirt but I'm wearing like yoga pants and flip-flops <laughs> because the drop off you don't you know they don't see above the waist <laughs> come on moms y'all can understand <laughs> you know it's true copy Hot copy. So yeah, I may not be home for a while because I asked her, her, her little one is not feeling well. So I may go up and do, and decorate the classroom during their lunch, the kids lunch time when they're out of the room. Uh, if my kid sees me, he's going to want me to hang out. <laughs> oh well, oh well. So yeah, and then tonight I'm going to be on Jay's channel um, for thrifty business and I still don't have a, a thrifty encounter I'm sure he's gonna need me to email him or message him all my stuff for the other segments we'll get on it and then I have all this stuff from yesterday I never took it in the house I'll show you Boom. all that stuff for my haul okay that's cool that's cool what else? What else? And I need to do a video today. I've been putting, not putting it off, but it just, things keep happening. I've got two jewelry videos I need to, to knock out today. Hopefully, just at least if I can record them, that would be good. I need to record this one that I'm doing about Jet and other black stones. And then also, um, you know, listing unusual jewelry. This lighting is really weird. I hope it looks better to you than it does to me. But we'll just we'll just keep going. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get those recorded this afternoon. And I recorded the munch pack like a week and a half ago and I totally forgot to put it up. So I've got to get the munch pack put up too. So I'll probably spend some time editing videos this afternoon. Wow, I really do need to get some work done. Huh. That's cool. That's cool. So I'm going to... Oh, man. Maybe I'll do the jet one tomorrow. Because I need to get my nails done. <laughs> my nails are... Well, they're, they're okay. They're not too bad. I was going to do the... Like I did with the... Um, was it an, the amber one that I did? Or the celluloid one? Where it's just like the camera is facing down. So you're just seeing my hands and the pieces. Maybe it was that one. Um, so I need to do that, but my, yeah, my nails look kind of, oh, you know, I need to get my nails done. <laughs> need to do that, need to do that, okay, here we go, I'm going to go ahead and pause it because I'm in the school zone. Okay, off to Target now. So yeah, I, I was talking a little bit yesterday about things that just, you know, things, the, the whole, the whole idea of... There's that light again. Hi, son. Good morning. I'm just getting overwhelmed and having to figure out a new path forward, and coming to the realization that it's just gonna it's gonna keep happening. It's just life, you know. And that being said, so what was going on before? You know, we had. It seems like as soon as like the hurricane stuff happened, everything just kind of went spiraling and. So there were, you know, just things with my guys needing to be addressed. That that's a priority, you know. My older son. I mentioned this yesterday too. My older son has been dealing with some bullying 
Yeah, some some of it is new boys, but some of it is the same same names I've been hearing year after year. So we've really been trying to figure that whole thing out and how to manage, you know, how to do what's best for James. And so I was slash am considering homeschooling him. So I was really doing a lot of looking into that, what it would take to, to homeschool him. Um, I'm sure Mikey would want to be homeschooled too, but I don't know. So there, there was that whole thing, just trying to figure that out. Is that a route we were going to take? You know, as much as I would, I don't have a problem doing it. My only issue with doing it, especially for him, is he's already so introverted. And he's already, like, he doesn't want, you know, on the weekends, like, he'd rather just stay home. He didn't, he doesn't care about, let's go do some, go get out of the house and do stuff. He would prefer to stay home. Or in the evenings, he doesn't want to, like, hey, let's go out to eat. And he'd rather just, he'd rather have a sandwich at home than go out to eat. Which is fine with me. It's cheap. But, I mean, knowing that about him and knowing that he already has a tendency to be really introverted, um... Homeschooling him is only going to make that more pronounced, I'm afraid, you know, where he'll just want to stay home all the time. And he needs, he's finally, you know, this year he's finally found some friends. I mean, he's had friends, you know, friendly acquaintances, things. I mean, a few play dates here and there, but nothing like really close. But this year he's really made two really good friends. So there's the three of them. They're in his class. He sees them every day. He's, you know, so... Like, I really need to, like, nurture that, you know, I, you know, gotten them together, gotten together with his, the parents, and so, I don't know, that's the, uh, that's my main worry, that, and, you know, he's, he's dyslexic, so they give really, they have really good programs for that at school, um, at this school, coming from an education background, coming from being a teacher, and knowing what our district did for dyslexic kids, which was okay, you know, where my son goes to school, they really go above and beyond what is required to, to make them successful, you know? So, I mean, even yesterday when we met with the teachers, his dyslexia teacher came as well. Like, we didn't even know she was going to be there. But they're so involved with making sure that he's successful, making sure that he feels safe, that, you know... Everybody was there for that that talk. Okay, we're at, we're at Target now. Let's see what happens when we go in. I love the Target dollar spot, y'all. I've just got to be careful because I go hog wild. All right, here we go. Okie dokie. So, over here at the Target, I only got like two things for the party, so I've got to go to Party City. One, I'm cheap, and <laughs> I can't spend like $10 for a pumpkin wall hanging, like a plastic one that's going to go up to the school. That's... Two, they didn't have any orange streamers, so that was something I was after with some streamers. So <clears throat> I'm going to hit the Party City and go from there. I think it's right over here. I was going to go to Goodwill first, but then I'd have to circle back around and then. I don't think they're gonna be open. It's too early though. It's, I don't know. Well, I'll see. If they're not open yet, I'll go to Goodwill. <clears throat> I've got some reflux now from my coffee because I haven't eaten anything. Anyway, so I'm gonna run over to Party City, see if they're open. I bet Joann's would have streamers, you think? Joann's? Probably way more expensive. Okay, I'm gonna check out Party City, then I'll run back to Joann's if they're not open. I bet Joann's has streamers. You think? Anyway, okay. So, I was talking about why, you know, things kind of got... I didn't, when things got hard, I didn't, I didn't really talk a whole lot about it. <clears throat> so, there was the whole thing going on with my son... And then I've been having some medical stuff. I talked a little bit about it the other day. It showed like these bruises and stuff. But it turns out, I think most of it's anxiety driven, but some of it is is health driven. I, I've been having issues when I eat 
and I think I've talked about this before, um, like breads and things like that. It feels like somebody's taking sandpaper to my intestinal tract. TMI probably, but I think it's caused a lot of the anxiety too, because you know, when you're in pain all the time and you're not sleeping because you're hurting, it increases your stress levels. So I was doing pretty good trying to stop, but it's, I mean, it's like an addiction truly. And it, you know, I was doing pretty well for a week or so. And then like, I'll, I would have one day where I would eat something and kind of splurge a little bit. And then it was just all downhill from there. But I'm back on track, hopefully today. Where did they move Party City? I think they may have moved it, it's not here. Oh goodness, where could it be? Did they move it? I think they did. Oh, great. Because <laughs> now it's the tile shop. I bet it's across the way. We have a pretty big like mall complex here where there's lots of strip. There's like the mall proper and then lots of strip malls. The things move around all the time. So, well, that changes everything. Because then I can go down to Goodwill and then come back and hit it on the right side of the road. <laughs> but there's five below. I didn't think about checking there, but I doubt they're open either. You think? What time do they open? Uh, they don't look open. I always forget about five below. It's five below, right? <clears throat> well, I also, I went by the... Why isn't that very cold? I don't know. I went by the dollar section and it was all wiped out. I think they were restocking it. They had like boxes and stuff all around it. And so I'll need to come back in the next couple days and see. But it's true. Like if you see something in that dollar spot, grab it. Because there were these little um, LED garland lights that I got. Some pumpkin ones that we ended up hanging up. And I got Randy some little Day of the Dead ones for his computer area. And, and of course they're not there anymore when you go back. So, oh my gosh. And I remember I had a bunch of them and I thought, this is ridiculous. Why am I buying so many of these? And I put some back. I only kept two of each. And then I'm like, man, I need another pumpkin. I need another pumpkin garland strand. Darn it. Okay. Gosh, I'm going to be early. Look at me today. I'm early. I'm going to be early getting to the Goodwill because it probably doesn't open for another five minutes. That's okay. That's okay. I can wait a minute and talk to you. So yeah, so basically, you know, the stressy stuff with James, the stressy stuff with my health, and then the stressy stuff with Randy's job, that was another big one that it affected me, affected all of us, honestly his job basically was saying you know they were gonna they were looking at possibly removing his whole department so they were basically telling them your whole division is about to be gone and so that sat for about a week and we were freaking out you know and trying to put on a good face anyway for me telling him it's cool we're gonna make it work no big deal we'll it'll be okay blah 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 you know um but inside I'm freaking out because I'm like he already has enough stress he doesn't need me on top of him on that saying like darn it how could you lose your job or and you know whatever um so I'm sitting there telling him it's cool it's cool and so I'm trying to hit it double hard with my stuff just in case that you know the axe falls with his job so that sat for about a week and then they, I'm not exaggerating, every, it seemed like every few days they were changing their line and saying, you know what, we're going to do this now. And so he would get his brain all wrapped around that for a couple days and then they would come back and say, you know what, I think we're going to do it this way instead. And so then he would write, you know, so it would just been like mind spinning. I mean, it just, it feels crazy. So, I went into this Goodwill, didn't find any jewelry, didn't find any craft kits or anything like that. I did find some mugs, which is totally not on my normal radar of things I'm going to be buying. 
but there are always <laughs> exceptions to the rule. For example, I don't sell shoes, but if I found a nice pair of Doc Martens, you know I'm gonna pick them up. These are Taylor and Ing mugs. <clears throat> there are a few brands of mugs that I will still pick up. Odagiri, I love selling Odagiri. They have a good fan base. Same thing with Taylor and Ing. And I'll probably do a video in a minute, <laughs> in a minute, and show you guys. Because right now I'm heading to Party City. It may not be open still. <laughs> I keep forgetting how early it is. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go check it out and see if Party City's open and the Dollar Tree to see if I can knock out the rest of this stuff for this party. If it's not, because then my other thrift stores that I'm going to hit today don't open until 10 either. What to do? What to do? I will have to change my whole game plan if it's not open, if it doesn't open at 9. But we'll make it happen because I really want to get to these other two thrift stores. 